my natural driving style is I like to brake very late and very deep and then turn the car and get on the on the gas and this it doesn't work here at all. So what you have to do is you, you know you brake they brake early. You come off the brake and roll tons of speed in and and um, it's a driving style I hate but you need it for this track and whilst I'm able to drive in lots of different ways um, not been perfecting it but I obviously did for the final <laughs> final qualifying. Did you have any warning at all before the suspension let go? No, not at all. It was just a very, very strange vibration uh, in hindsight. Um, I didn't feel it at the time. And uh, yeah, and then it failed, so that was not good. Um, but amazing job. Everybody uh, built the car together again. You know, both, uh, both teams came together and um, even Lewis's uh, mechanics came over, which was incredible, and got it together. So it was great. And then straight in qualifying, I just felt good again. Tomorrow, the race, are we expecting similar conditions? Will you need them in order to hold position? Uh, I think even tomorrow the forecast is just quite moody here, the weather. It can be a shower, you know, at any time. Um, we're starting obviously from P2. Um, we'll see from there. I think the car has been, been good recently, even on long runs, and we'll do our best trying to hold on to that. But, you know, we have Ferraris uh, coming from behind, which are pretty fast, and obviously Nico as well. So it's going to be a busy afternoon. I think the three people in front of me deserve to be in front. They probably took more risk. Um, yeah, so not entirely happy, but uh, the car felt very good. Uh, had a good feeling all session, so it should be good for tomorrow. It's exciting to know that we were P3, uh, P2 and the wets as well, and uh, we caught it just right. I mean, it, it, it worked today, and I mean, I feel we've it just it has gone up the other way in terms of we've been a little bit unlucky in quite a few qualifying sessions. And here, in a way, I took a lot of risks because I saved everything for the last lap of, of qualifying, and there could have been a yellow flag, but it was worth it very happy with the car and with my lab and with the whole team they did a perfect job i think it's the first weekend we brought the tires up to temperature in qualifying we are always struggling with temperature so um, that weekend was was amazing until now and p12 in qualifying good lap in q1 very good lap in q2 with the super soft and um, hopefully we can do the same again tomorrow or even a bit better was it a new engine, as in a brand new engine in the back? It was the one used in Baku. Uh, we were not expecting to use this one here because we, we knew that in Baku suffered quite a lot this engine. We were forced to use it after the problem in P3 and uh, it broke, so uh, not, not very happy, honestly. Did you have any warning that it was going to let go before it went? I had a puncture in the first run, which was a bit odd because uh, it was a bit strange, so the car was a bit... Strange, but I don't know exactly what happened there. We need to investigate. Obviously, the curves are harsh, but the suspension that fails it was the right one. So it was quite strange to see. But uh, once it happened, I was a passenger, and uh, yeah, it's not cool.